Lesson 8.3 scale factor. Number one says the triangle on the right is a scaled copy of the triangle on the left. Identify the scale factor as a fraction in simplest form. So basically they're saying, okay, this smaller triangle was multiplied or divided by something, but multiplied by a fraction or a whole number to create this larger triangle. And so that goes back to the last lesson that was kind of weird saying, okay, what do we multiply by in one step? So if I wanna to get to six, from six to 13, I'm thinking I'm gonna be dividing by six to get to one, then taking one times 13. So you're always thinking you want these to cross cancel, but what it's really just asking for is what's the scale factor, which is 13, six. Okay, so you're always thinking, this is your starting number. How do I multiply by something to get to this number? So it actually ends up being the new number over the original. All right, number two, we have two different rectangles that are similar. So that means they're some certain scale factor of one another. If the area of rectangle J is 45, what is the area of rectangle K? And it's very tempting here to see, okay, well, 15 divided by five or 15 times a fifth would make three. So if I just took a fifth of 45, 45 divided by five is nine, that would be this area. That's not correct. We can't do that. And so what I would suggest is thinking, okay, area is some kind of width times a length. So something times 15 made 45 and that's three. And so I'm thinking, yes, to get to 15, I take it times 3 fifteenths or a fifth, 3 fifteenths reduces down to a fifth is my scale factor. So I could take a fifth of 3, which isn't going to come out pretty, that's going to be 3 fifths. I just multiply straight across because 3 is over 1. And so then from there, I can go ahead and find this area by taking 3 times 3 fifths which is simply nine fifths. And I'm sure they'll take that as a fraction or a decimal. Um, as a decimal, it is 1.8 squared units. So either answer is fine. So see how that didn't end up just being something nice. Now what is happening is saying we're having a fifth of each dimension. So a fifth here and a fifth here, which is like a fifth squared. And if you remember that when you're squaring fractions, you have one fifth times itself. So this one gets squared, one times one, five times five, or five squared is 25. So it'll be a 25th of whatever the original area was. So if I did 45 times 1 25th, I also get that same 1.8. So that's another way you can look at it. Like on number three, it gets kind of weird numbers if you do that. We have another one where the rectangles are similar. Um, area of rectangle V is 32, what is the area of W? And so this definitely isn't as easy to see what's the pattern. So I would definitely recommend going ahead and saying, okay, 32 came from taking eight times some width would be four. <clears throat> and so what you can also do is even make a proportion. And we'll do this a lot later on. So what we need to do is make a fraction comparing something. I like to do one side of one rectangle compared to that <clears throat> corresponding side of the other rectangle. So I would have 4 to x is equal to, switch colors, we'll do the longer side, 8 to 2.8. Okay, well that one doesn't work very good. Switch to red. Okay, so I couldn't do like four to 2.8 because those don't correspond, they have to be corresponding sides. And then if you remember uh, ratios, you cross multiply and then you divide by the other number. I used to make a little fish out of it. Doop, doop, doop. So you take four times 2.8, get your answer, and then divide by the other number eight. And that's 1.4. And then once I have that dimension, I can simply take my length times my width. So 2.8 times 1.4 is 3.92 squared units. And the other way to go about that is you could have made a ratio and saying eight got multiplied by 2.8 out of eight, which I would probably divide that 
So my scale factor is a 0.35. <clears throat> so I could have taken 4 times that scale factor 0.35 and that would have gotten this side to be 1.4 and then go that route as well. So there's several different ways to get these answers.